Jack Palance was a remarkable American actor, an icon who left a lasting impact on the film industry. Despite facing numerous challenges, he became one of the most celebrated actors of his time, known for his powerful on-screen presence and enigmatic personality. Palance's ability to captivate audiences with his performances, as well as his intriguing off-screen persona, has ensured that he is still remembered and admired by many even over a decade after his passing. His life and career continue to inspire aspiring actors around the world. Volodymyr Palahniuk, later known as Jack Palance, was born on February 18, 1919, in Latimer Mine, Pennsylvania. His parents were Ukrainian immigrants who faced many challenges during Palance's childhood. Life was tough, and Palance worked various odd jobs to make ends meet. One of these jobs was working in a coal mine, an experience that likely shaped his worldview and work ethic. In addition to his manual labor jobs, Palance pursued a career in boxing under the professional name Jack Bratso. Boxing is a physically demanding sport that requires discipline, determination, and a thick skin. These qualities would serve Palance well throughout his life and career. Palance's early experiences, including his difficult childhood and his pursuit of a boxing career, helped to forge the man he would become. His perseverance and grit would later become hallmarks of his acting style, making him a formidable presence on screen. Despite the challenges he faced, Palance remained committed to his goals and pursued his dreams with tenacity and passion. Jack Palance, born Volodymyr Palahniuk, had a notable boxing highlight outside of the ring. He famously punched actor Marlon Brando while on the set of the movie The Men, which led to Brando being hospitalized. This incident was not a part of a scripted fight scene, but rather a real-life altercation between the two actors. In addition to this incident, Palance also had a military background. During World War II, he enlisted in the United States Air Forces. There were rumors that he was injured while serving, which led to him undergoing facial surgery in preparation for his acting career. However, these rumors have never been confirmed. Despite this, Palance's military service and subsequent acting career have left a lasting impact on the industry. After serving in the military, Jack Palance attended Stanford University to study theater. However, he decided to leave just one semester before earning his degree. During his time at Stanford, Palance worked various odd jobs to support himself, including as a soda jerk, lifeguard, cook, and model. Palance's passion for acting led him to begin his career in theater. He eventually landed his first major role in the play, A Streetcar Named Desire, which came about after Marlon Brando dropped out of the production. Palance's talent and dedication to his craft helped him establish a successful career in the entertainment industry, despite his lack of a formal education. Jack Palance, originally known as Walter Palahniuk, made his film debut in the 1950 movie Panic in the Streets. Directed by Elia Kazan, this picture marked the beginning of Palance's successful career in Hollywood. His surname underwent a transformation from Palahniuk to Palance, which he adopted as his professional name. Later, he changed his first name to Walter Jack Palance, but he remained best known as Jack Palance. This name change marked a significant turning point in his life and career as he transitioned from his original identity to his new persona as a movie star. Jack Palance is best known for his breakthrough role in the 1952 film Sudden Fear, where he starred alongside Joan Crawford. This film marked a significant turning point in his career, as it was his first major lead role. In Sudden Fear, Palance played the part of a struggling actor who becomes entangled in a dangerous plot of murder and deceit. Following his success in Sudden Fear, Palance went on to star in a number of other films throughout the 1950s. In 1953, he appeared in Man in the Attic, a mystery thriller where he played a suspicious lodger with a dark past. That same year, he also starred in Sign of the Pagan, a historical epic about the decline of the Roman Empire. In 1954, Palance took on the role of a slave trader in The Silver Chalice, a film that was notable for its use of groundbreaking special effects. He then appeared in Flight to Tangier, a film noir about a group of criminals on the run in Morocco. One of Palance's most memorable roles of the 1950s was in Shane, a classic western in which he played the villainous role of Jack Wilson. 
His portrayal of the ruthless gunman was both chilling and captivating, earning him widespread critical acclaim. In 1957, Palance starred in Arrowhead, a western about a Native American chief who is betrayed by a white soldier. Palance's performance in the film was praised for its intensity and complexity, showcasing his range as an actor. Throughout the 1950s, Palance established himself as a talented and versatile actor with a particular talent for playing intense and brooding characters. His contributions to the world of cinema during this time left a lasting impact, and his performances continue to be celebrated by audiences and critics alike. Jack Palance, born Vladimir Palaniak, was an American actor who made a significant impact in the 1960s with his work in European films and television. In the early part of the decade, Palance ventured to Europe and made several films there, including Night Train to Milan and Contempt. The latter was selected by renowned French filmmaker Jean-Luc Goddard, which added to Palance's growing reputation as a serious actor. Before his European sojourn, Palance had already made a name for himself in American television. His first major TV role came in the early 1960s with the series The Greatest Show on Earth. The show was a hit, and Palance's performance was widely praised. In addition to his work in Europe and television, Palance also appeared in several American films during the 1960s. Some of his most notable roles were in Once a Thief, The Professional's Torture Garden, and Kill a Dragon. Each of these films showcased Palance's versatility and talent as an actor, and they remain popular among fans of classic cinema to this day. Overall, Jack Palance's contributions to the world of film and television in the 1960s were significant and enduring. His work in European films, his groundbreaking role in The Greatest Show on Earth, and his performances in a series of classic American films helped to establish him as a talented and respected actor, and his legacy continues to be celebrated by movie lovers around the world. In the 1970s, Jack Palance's career took an unexpected turn as he moved to Italy and began appearing in a series of successful films. Some of his most notable roles during this period include Africa Express, Ellen Fumiera, God's Son, Black Cobra Woman, Mr. Scarface, and Welcome to Blood City. These films showcase Palance's talent and versatility as an actor and help to establish him as a major star in Europe. Despite his success in Italy, Palance's career in the U.S. had stalled. However, this all changed in the 1980s when he made a comeback in two high-profile projects. The first was as the host of the television series Ripley's Believe It or Not, which he hosted from 1982 to 1986. His distinctive voice and on-screen presence made him a natural fit for the show, and he quickly became a fan favorite. Palance's career was further revived by his role in the 1987 film Baghdad Cafe. In this film, he played the enigmatic and charming owner of a desert motel, and his performance was widely praised. His career was back on track and he continued to work steadily in both film and television for the rest of his life. In conclusion, Jack Palance's career in the 1970s and 1980s was marked by a successful stint in Italy and a triumphant comeback in the US. His roles in films such as Africa Express and Baghdad Cafe showcased his talent and versatility as an actor and helped to establish him as a major star in both Europe and America. Jack Palance, a renowned actor, won an Oscar for his supporting role in the 1991 film City Slickers. His co-star, Billy Crystal, has shared stories about their first meeting, where Palance's imposing presence left Crystal feeling intimidated. However, Palance soon reassured Crystal, and they formed a successful partnership in the film. In City Slickers, Palance played Curly, a seasoned cowboy who takes a group of City Slickers on a cattle drive. His performance was highly praised, and he won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his portrayal of the character. Palance's final acting credit was in the 24 TV movie Back When We Were Grown Ups, where he played the role of Felix Funicello. The film was based on the novel of the same name by Ann Tyler, and also starred Blythe Danner and Faye Dunaway. Throughout his long and successful career, Palance appeared in numerous films and television shows, earning him a place as a respected and admired actor in the industry. His performance in City Slickers will always be remembered, and his final acting credit in Back When We Were Grown Up serves as a fitting end to his impressive career. Jack Palance was a prolific actor, accumulating a total of 126 credits throughout his career, primarily in film, 
but with some notable television roles as well. He was known for his versatility, balancing leading man, supporting character actor, and villain roles with ease. Despite his success, Palance was often critical of his own work, admitting that he rarely watched his films and referring to most of his projects as garbage. Despite his self-criticism, Palance's talent was undeniable. He received three Academy Award nominations for Best Actor in a Supporting Role and won the award in 1992 for his performance in City Slickers. Palance's rugged good looks and commanding presence made him a natural fit for tough guy roles but he also showed a softer side in films like Shane and Sudden Fear. Palance's career spanned over five decades, and he worked with some of the biggest names in Hollywood. He appeared in classic films like The Big Knife, El Cid, and Batman, as well as more modern productions like Young Guns and Touched by an Angel. Despite his success, Palance remained humble and self-critical throughout his career. He once said, I've made a lot of bad movies, but I've made some good ones too. I'm not going to apologize for the bad ones, but I'm not going to show them around, either. Palance's legacy as an actor is one of versatility and dedication to his craft. He was a true professional who took his work seriously, even if he didn't always appreciate the final product. His contributions to the world of film and television will not be forgotten, and his talent and dedication continue to inspire actors today. Jack Palance was an actor known for his tough and intimidating roles, which may have been influenced by his own experiences and personality. He had a reputation for having a short temper and could be intimidating on set. This reputation earned him the inspiration for the character Phil Wire in the comic series Lucky Luke. Despite his sometimes challenging demeanor, Palance was highly regarded for his acting abilities. He was even considered for iconic roles such as Jack Torrance in The Shining and Francisco Scaramanga in The Man with the Golden Gun. Although he did not ultimately secure these parts, the fact that he was considered speaks volumes about his talent and the impact he had on the film industry. Palance's ability to portray tough and complex characters was unmatched, and he brought a level of intensity and authenticity to every role he played. His contributions to the world of acting will not be forgotten and he will always be remembered for the indelible mark he left on the industry. Jack Palance was a well-known actor who had a family and, unfortunately, passed away due to pancreatic cancer. He was married twice and had three children with his first wife, Virginia. His children include a son named Cody and two daughters. Sadly, Cody passed away in 1998. However, his two daughters and his second wife, Elaine Rogers, survived him. Palance was a dedicated actor who continued to work in the industry until his death. He was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and passed away on November 10, 2006, at the age of 87. His death was a loss to the film industry, and he is still remembered for his remarkable performances. Despite his passing, Palance's legacy lives on through his work and the memories he created with his family. His career spanned over five decades, and he left an indelible mark in the film industry. He was a talented actor who was loved by many and will always be remembered for his contributions. Palance's family was an essential part of his life, and he often spoke about them in interviews. He was a proud father and husband, and his love for his family was evident. Although he experienced loss, he continued to persevere and maintain a positive outlook on life. In conclusion, Jack Palance was a talented actor who had a family and sadly passed away due to pancreatic cancer. He is survived by his two daughters and second wife, Elaine Rogers. Palance's legacy continues to live on through his work, and he will always be remembered as a remarkable actor who left an enduring impact on the film industry. Jack Palance is remembered as an icon of American cinema, with many myths and misconceptions still surrounding him even after his death. Despite the inaccuracies, there is no denying the impact he left on the film industry. Born Volodymyr Palahniuk in Pennsylvania in 1919, Palance initially pursued a career in professional football before turning to acting. He served in the Army Air Corps during World War II and began his acting career on stage before transitioning to film and television. Palance was known for his rugged, intense screen presence and his distinctive voice. He often played tough, menacing characters, earning him the nickname the Mongol in Hollywood. However, he also showed his versatility by playing more nuanced roles, such as in the film Shane and Sudden Fear. 
for which he received an Academy Award nomination. One of the most enduring myths about Palance is that he was a former circus strongman. In reality, he had no circus background and his imposing physique was the result of his football and military training. Another myth is that he was difficult to work with and had a reputation for being temperamental. While Palance was known for his intensity and dedication to his craft, those who worked with him described him as professional and respectful. Palance's career spanned over five decades and he worked with some of the most prominent directors and actors of his time. He appeared in over 100 films and television shows, including City Slickers, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Despite the many misconceptions about him, Jack Palance's legacy as an icon of American cinema is undeniable. His intense, commanding presence and versatile acting skills left a lasting impact on the film industry and continue to inspire actors today. In the glittering world of Hollywood, few names shine as brightly as Clint Eastwood. Born on May 31, 1930, in San Francisco, California, Eastwood has spent over six decades leaving an indelible mark on the film industry. He first rose to fame in the 1950s with his roles in Western television series like Rawhide. However, it was his portrayal of the man with no name in Sergio Leone's Dollars trilogy that catapulted him to international stardom. Eastwood's career is a testament to his versatility, having excelled not only as an actor, but also as a director, producer, and composer. Among his most memorable roles are those in Dirty Harry, Unforgiven, and Million Dollar Baby, films that not only entertained audiences worldwide, but also earned him critical acclaim and numerous awards, including four Academy Awards. As a director, Eastwood has delivered masterpieces such as Mystic River, Letters from Iwo Jima, and American Sniper, demonstrating his ability to tackle various genres and themes with sensitivity and depth. His work behind the camera has been recognized with four Academy Awards for Best Director, making him one of the most celebrated filmmakers in history. Throughout his career, Eastwood has remained a steadfast advocate for artistic freedom and has consistently pushed boundaries in storytelling. His contributions to the film industry are cherished by fans and peers alike, and his legacy continues to resonate with each new generation of movie agors. Jack Palin, born Volodymyr Palinyuk, was raised in a small town in Pennsylvania. His parents, Ukrainian immigrants, operated a modest farm where he helped with chores and developed a strong work ethic. Palance's father, an anthracite coal miner, instilled in him the value of perseverance and determination. As a young man, Palance attended the University of North Carolina on a football scholarship, but later shifted his focus to acting. He was inspired by the works of Konstantin Stanislavski, a renowned Russian theater practitioner, and adopted the Stanislavski method for his own acting style. Palance's early acting career began in the New York theater scene, where he worked with influential figures such as Aliyah Kazan and Marlon Brando. Kazan, in particular, played a significant role in shaping Palance's career, casting him in the Broadway production of Golden Boy and later in the film adaptation. In the 1950s, Palance transitioned to film, where he quickly gained recognition for his intense and commanding presence. His early roles in films like Shane and Sudden Fear showcased his versatility and talent, earning him critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. Throughout his career, Palance continued to hone his craft, working with a diverse range of directors and actors and leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Jack Palance's passion for acting was ignited during his time in the Army, while stationed in Italy during World War II. He was tasked with putting on shows for the troops, which sparked his interest in performing. After the war, he studied drama in New York City and began his acting career on stage. A pivotal experience for Palance was his first major film role in Panic in the Streets, where he played a deadly fugitive. His intense and powerful performance earned him an Academy Award nomination and solidified his desire to pursue a career in acting. Palance's love for acting was fueled by his belief in the power of storytelling and its ability to impact people's lives. He once said, acting is a very personal thing. It's something you do alone in a room and it's a very lonely thing. But when it's done properly, it can be a very moving experience. Throughout his career, Palance was known for his rugged, intense presence and his ability to bring depth and complexity to his characters. 
He continued to work in film, television, and theater until his death in 26, leaving behind a legacy as a truly dedicated and passionate actor. Jack Palance, born Volodymyr Palaniuk, faced numerous challenges in his journey to becoming a successful actor. Raised in a poor coal mining family in Pennsylvania, Palance worked in the mines himself to help make ends meet. This tough upbringing, however, instilled in him a resilience that would serve him well in the face of future obstacles. When Palance decided to pursue acting, he encountered skepticism from the industry due to his rugged, masculine appearance. Roles were scarce for those who didn't fit the traditional leading man mold. Determined to succeed, Palance turned to Broadway, where he honed his craft and gradually gained recognition. Financial struggles were a constant theme throughout Palance's early career. To make ends meet, he worked as a bouncer, a truck driver, and even a circus performer. Yet, these experiences only added to his versatility as an actor, allowing him to bring a unique perspective to his roles. Palance's breakthrough role came in 1953 with the film Shane, where he played the menacing gunman Jack Wilson. Despite his success, Palance remained humble and committed to his craft. He continued to take on diverse roles, refusing to be typecast. Throughout his career, Palance overcame numerous obstacles, demonstrating his resilience and determination. His story serves as an inspiration, reminding us that success is often achieved through hard work, perseverance, and a refusal to let setbacks deter us from our goals. Jack Palance, born Walter Jack Palinwick, had several breakthrough moments in his career as an actor. One significant breakthrough was his debut film appearance in City Across the River. Though a small role, it marked his entry into the film industry. A major turning point came in 1950 when Palance starred in the film Panic in the Streets. His performance as a deadly fugitive was critically acclaimed and earned him his first Academy Award nomination. This role established him as a formidable presence in Hollywood. In 1952, Palance starred in Shane, a classic Western film. His portrayal of the ruthless gunman Jack Wilson was a career-defining role, earning him his second Academy Award nomination. This film further solidified his status as a serious actor. However, it wasn't until 1991 that Palance won his first and only Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in City Slickers. At 73, he became the oldest actor to win in this category. His acceptance speech, where he did one-arm push-ups, became a memorable moment in Oscar history. Palance's career was marked by his ability to portray complex characters with a raw, intense energy. His contributions to the film industry are still celebrated today, with his breakthrough moments serving as a testament to his enduring impact. Jack Palance, born Walter Jack Palahniuk, was an American actor known for his intense and brooding presence on screen. His creative process was largely intuitive and instinctive, often relying on his inner emotions and experiences to shape his characters. Palance believed in the power of simplicity and naturalness, and he once said, theater is life, cinema is art. I prefer art. Palance's approach to acting was unique in that he often drew from his personal experiences and worldview to create memorable and authentic performances. He was a veteran of World War II, and his military background influenced many of his roles, particularly in Western and action films. Palance's rugged and masculine image, combined with his deep voice and piercing gaze, made him a natural fit for these types of roles. Despite his tough exterior, Palance was also known for his sensitive and introspective side. He often played complex and conflicted characters, exploring the depths of human emotion and psychology. Palance's ability to convey vulnerability and humanity beneath a hardened exterior made him a compelling and captivating actor. Palance's personal experiences and worldview were reflected in his work in subtle but powerful ways. He was a man of few words, but his actions and expressions spoke volumes. Palance's art was not about grand gestures or showy performances, but rather about conveying the essence of a character through simple and authentic means. In conclusion, Jack Palance was an intuitive and instinctive actor who relied on his inner emotions and experiences to shape his characters. His rugged and masculine image, combined with his sensitivity and vulnerability, made him a compelling and captivating presence on screen. 
Palance's ability to convey the depths of human emotion and psychology through simple and authentic means made him a unique and enduring artist in the world of cinema. Jack Palance was a significant figure in the film industry, known for his powerful presence and intense performances. His career spanned over five decades, and he left an indelible mark on both stage and screen. Palance is perhaps best remembered for his work in westerns, where his rugged masculinity and brooding intensity became his trademark. One of Palance's most iconic roles was in the 1953 film Shane, where he played the ruthless gunman Jack Wilson. His portrayal of the character was so menacing that it became the standard for movie villains. According to film critic Leonard Maltin, Palance's portrayal of Jack Wilson in Shane was a career-defining moment. He brought a level of intensity and menace to the role that has rarely been matched. Palance's contribution to the industry went beyond his acting skills. He was also a talented writer and director. In 1961, he wrote, produced, and starred in the film The Sons of Katie Elder, which became a classic western. Palance's influence on the genre was such that he was often referred to as the last of the great movie cowboys. Palance's impact on the industry was not limited to westerns. He also excelled in other genres, including film noir, drama, and comedy. His performance in the 1991 film City Slickers earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. At the age of 73, Palance became the oldest actor to win an Oscar in a competitive category. Palance's influence on future generations of actors is undeniable. Actor Clint Eastwood, who worked with Palance in The Sons of Katie Elder, cites him as a significant influence on his own career. According to Eastwood, Jack Palance was a force of nature. He brought a level of intensity and authenticity to every role he played. He was a true original, and I feel privileged to have worked with him. In conclusion, Jack Palance was a towering figure in the film industry known for his powerful performances and significant contributions to the Western genre. His influence on future generations of actors is a testament to his enduring legacy. Jack Palance, born Walter Jack Palinuick, was a well-known actor who valued hard work and discipline, traits he acquired during his service in World War II. After the war, he embarked on an acting career, studying at the prestigious Actors Studio in New York City. Palance was a private person who kept his personal life separate from his professional one. However, he was known to have a deep love for nature and the outdoors. He owned a ranch in Utah where he enjoyed horseback riding and cattle herding. These experiences influenced his work, as he often played rugged, tough guy characters in Western films. In addition to his acting career, Palance was also passionate about philanthropy. He was involved in various charitable causes including the American Cancer Society and the Boy Scouts of America. He was also a supporter of the arts, donating money to various theaters and arts organizations. Palance's personal values and interests were reflected in his work, as he often chose roles that allowed him to showcase his rugged masculinity and love for nature. His philanthropic efforts and support of the arts further demonstrate his commitment to giving back to his community and promoting the importance of the arts in society. Jack Palance left an enduring mark on the film industry with his powerful and intense performances. His career, which spanned several decades, included many memorable roles in westerns and war movies. Despite facing challenges, such as being told he didn't have the right look for leading roles, Palance persevered and became a highly respected actor. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Palance would likely offer the following advice first. Never give up on your dreams, even when others tell you that you can't achieve them. Second, always be prepared to work hard and put in the effort required to succeed. Finally, don't be afraid to take risks and try new things, as this can help you grow and develop as an artist. As for the future, while Palance may no longer be with us, his legacy continues to inspire and influence new generations of actors and filmmakers. Who knows what exciting developments the future holds for the film industry, but one thing is certain the passion, dedication, and talent of artists like Jack Palance will continue to resonate with audiences for years to come. Jack Palance was a powerful figure in the entertainment industry, known for his commanding presence and unique style. Born in 1919, he served in World War II before pursuing a career in acting. He started on stage, then moved to film, 
where he quickly made a name for himself with his intense performances. Throughout his career, Palance demonstrated a passion for his craft that never waned. He took on a variety of roles, always bringing depth and authenticity to his characters. His innovative approach to acting, which often included improvisation and a disregard for traditional methods, helped him stand out in a crowded field. Palance's impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. He won an Academy Award for his role in City Slickers, and his work in films like Shane, and The Big Knife is still celebrated today. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout his career, Palance never gave up. His perseverance and creativity continue to inspire actors and filmmakers around the world. In the end, Jack Palance's journey is a testament to the power of creativity and determination. He proved that with hard work and a willingness to take risks, anyone can leave their mark on the world. His legacy serves as a reminder that we should all pursue our passions, even in the face of adversity. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the remarkable career of Jack Palance, an actor known for his powerful presence and unforgettable roles. From his early days in film noir to his iconic performance in City Slickers, Palance left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Don't forget to like and share this content with your friends so they too can join the conversation about this legendary actor. And if you enjoy our celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment, be sure to subscribe for more. In the comments, share your favorite Jack Palance moments, the characters he played that resonated with you, and how his work has influenced you or the world of cinema. Let's cherish the legacy of this talented artist together.